Hello, my name is Scott, the breathing guy. I'll train you to locate, generate, activate core key energy and physical activity. This is video series, Driver Swing Mechanics with Key Energy, Lesson 1, Swing Mechanics. And this is stage three, ergonomics of the fingertips and developing. And this is part two. This is going to deal with the left hand and the ergonomics on that, striking the ball. So in the part one, I dealt with this as a grip form versus this grip form and why this is so much more natural, more dynamic, just like a baseball. And then people that have played baseball will love this grip because it's more natural for them to snap, use the right hand to hit the ball. And this is what you're supposed to do, even with, uh, and with other grips or thinking. The right hand strikes the ball, the left hand brings the club to the ball. Then the crossover is related to what finger pressures you have around the grip is the key thing. People have lost, swung the driver and, oh, why? Because they grip the wrong way and they think, oh, I gotta be softer. No, I want you to put as much pressure on the little finger tip as you can. I mean, the more you squeeze that tip, then you can soften all the other fingers. The more pressure here gives your mind ability to, to say soften the other. You don't need the other fingers to hold the club position. Because in reality, it is the right hand that holds the club when you come down, because it works the bicep. So when you're coming down, you're coming down here in my form of swing mechanics, you're like this. Look at my left shoulder here, arm here. So it's all about this action. It's all about this action. So you're squeezing the here as you're hitting. Remember, you put that grip, that uh, bone on the grip top. Not this here where your muscle, you do not want. You want a bone touching the, the grip because then your whole hand comes dynamic and involved. So the key here is when you pull back, you're using this finger, but when you're coming down, you're involved, you're, uh, look at my biceps, man, that's when I use it, and I squeeze, to it, and then I squeeze the little finger as well. That gives the contrast a turn. So timing, using this hand to hit, but the, after you hit it, switch your finger pressure to the little finger. That's the key. For the left hand swing uh, dynamics, to amplify the crossover, it's going to be the thumb. You keep the same pressure, taking the club back, bringing it down, the crossover all the way through until you get to here. Then you change the pressure. And it's the thumb that facilitates a snap with coordination of the right hand middle finger. That's the key process of finger ergonomics. It will give you the greatest if you want to say effort, a snap. We're striving for a snap through the ball and it's actually within like a foot or two of the ball. It's down here, not up here. So many other swing mechanics that you, you see, if you see the club head in front of the ball, what, look at the right elbow. They usually have the elbow out like this and the shoulders look like this hitting it because they're trying to develop there. They're not, they're, they're not using their hands as a snap force. They're using, using the momentum of their whole body with minor influence on the hands, striking the ball. So the way I'm advocating it, it's your hands. So that way, you don't, the more you develop your hands for that snap to, the better performance you'll have, the more repeatable performance you'll have in striking the ball for distance with the driver. Let the club do the work. Let the club head do the work. It's, it, it's a tool, it's a weapon, or whatever you want to say, but how you do it, you're transferring your force into the club through your grip, through the grip. The tool the same way, you're, you're, how you work a tool, like if you're uh, working in a forge, you're, you're hitting something, it's how you work your hands, how you work your wrists, or hammering something. How do you snap it to come down? is greater than being rigid. So understanding the left hand side is position, the middle finger, and as you're coming through, you squeeze the, both the middle finger and the little finger, and it's just natural. 
It's just natural. You can see. You can test it. Bring it like this. Your hands are here. Bring your shoulder up. Get your closed stance. And look. Just snap your hands, the fingers, just to select the fingers. Both little fingers, a little harder, especially there. And then squeeze the middle finger a little bit. And then cross over. Let, think of the th hand, thumb cross over. It's a whole new hand finger sensation I'm advocating. It's a development in the golf swing that most people intuitively develop to some degree. But I want it more conscious, more physical. And you connect it to the core and you connect it to the breathing on there. Because you're holding your core here and when you want to snap through, you go, you blow it out your mouth. Go, Phew! As you're squeezing, Phew! you're pulling your belly button in, you're pulling your finger like that. And it will amplify your finger tensions within those fingers you need for the striking the ball and crossing over. The other characteristic to show you the difference in it here about that bone thing. A lot of pros, when they're using this club, they what they do is tell the person to build up tape around here so when they're gripping it, hold on, when they're gripping it, they can make the right hand more dynamic. In other words, they increase the size here, you know, to try to get that, you know, a little bit more force. But this is so much natural, so much bigger than that could ever be. Because when you grip it this way, you can go out, and if you get a, it depends on your size of the hand, you can get a, like a jumbo for here. So the right hand, as long as you can make that little, little finger here as thin as possible, so your little finger is the dominant finger of the left hand, it's the closest to the palm, it's way up here. The more you can get it up here, not in your, uh, here, way up here. That's the key. It has to be across here as you want. It's easy to do in this grip form compared to the other. But for the right hand, the build up this area here. In fact, one of the things I did, I got the smallest club and cut, got two clubs, cut one half to be the thinnest, and then I got a jumble to make it up here so it increases my, my right hand characteristics. I get something more to grip with my uh, middle finger and more area here of my palm. So I'm using the whole knuckle across here as my force to hit through as a force. So the advantage of the right hand crossing over, you're manipulating this finger and this finger to hit and to cross over and make your arm. Because remember, when you cross over, your both arms are straight at this point. So you don't want to engage the bicep. Both little fingers, this is the, the you got difference between left and right coming down straight. Up. Then you turn to pure tricep to the, then when you come up, then you go to bicep. The middle finger comes to brings your arms back. The way you manipulate those fingers facilitates the rotational, either the club coming out, snapping through, and then coming back. So you don't, how can I say, you get the most speed, don't hurt yourself, and you can do more. So understanding our goals is basically trying to get the most accelerated force coming through the ball, this is what the swing mechanics is all about. Other swing mechanics produce other effects. You want to snap through, so it's always a little finger and middle finger, and how you coordinate the two at a time, and the crossover of the thumb. This action here, but it has to be with the look. And there's a whole way of using the thumb, tightening thumb, as you're striking the ball to accelerate the cut. Everything is about accelerating the club head through the, through the ball. That's the goal. How you get there, understanding the hands, is the name of the game, just like in Ben Hogan's book. These are two. Like I said, I recommend this. You can, there's many ways to play with it, and everything I'm saying is basic. There's more advanced, and the more you feel your fingertip, don't think of squeezing the finger. That's too easy. The tip itself, bring that tip here. That's what you want to feel the pressure there. Not your finger. Now remember, I said there's four parts to the hand. Wrist, palm, finger, and fingertip. With the golf swing, we have to play with fingertips. If you're going to hit a uh, baseball, you got more fingers involved. But the fingertips is the key because you're dealing with speed involved, supporting speed. And because and you're actually not hitting the ball. Never think of striking the ball. Uh, you know, you're hitting the ball, golf ball. You're bringing the club head through the ball. 
the ball gets in the way of your club head. That's it. And that cadet, when it hits, the club head hits the ball, you got to really snap it. Your hands, you make your fingertips tight at that moment, right before you hit, and you exhale, go, whew, just a little, you don't have to go all the way, whew, then go through it, and then you exhale all the way, pulling your stomach in. This is a timing. It takes a little get time to get used to the rhythm. This is basic involved, and we are working with the right hand. So, here's the deal. When you're coming down, close stance, your elbows in the pocket. Now, it's like turning, it's turning your hips into it. You're rotating the rip and snap. Practice snapping, just feel your fingers. Just, like I said, you're going to, got to, when you're coming down like here and you want to snap it, squeeze the little finger of the left hand and the thumb, just pressure just a little bit, that's for the crossover, because you're directing the crossover with the thumb. And with the other hand, you're squeezing both as you're striking the both bicep and tricep at the same time. Then you release the bicep to the tricep. There's a lot of engagement right coming through the ball to make that snap. That's the goal. Whatever you can do to snap the club head at that point you want it to be. Oh, by the way, always remember since we have a shift, always put the ball, because if you look at all the pros, it's not in the center of your body, it's all, uh, out towards your left foot because of the shift. And we advocate the shift in this uh, swing mechanics itself. And it's simple. It, when it's done, you, you don't think of trying to have to muscle all down. Think of working the hands more to create the force you need. So if you've got the momentum in the body and everything's quiet, but if you get those hands really snapping that club head through, it beats everything else of all the hard speed or doing this. And there's actually, like I contend, there's three ways Swing three forms of swim. My form, elbow here, elbow away, and it's all dealing with the uh, left elbow. I mean, right elbow. It's all dealing with that. You can have it in the pocket, you can have it away from your body, or you can have it straight when you're hitting the ball. Those are the three, if you want to say, uh, right elbow forms that changes the swing mechanics itself. And it's the left shoulder characteristic, big time. So it's a matter of how much effort do you really need to put in to your golf swing to get the distance you want. And it's all about the club head. How much force can you bring to the club head? How much accelerated force when you strike the ball? That's the key element there on there. So this is driver swing mechanics. Lesson one, swing mechanics. Stage three, finger ergonomics. The difference between left and right. This is basic. How to feel the fingertips, how to shape, and what's the goal. Even when you use this club form, always remember it's the little finger. But when you have this form, and because it's thick, look where you have to be on the palm. You have to. You cannot bring it up here as easy. You have to. That's why most of them do this. They actually choke down. Why waste the distance? I mean, the, the arc is what really, so that if you choke it down, you have to put more effort yourself. But the snap, creating the most dynamic snap through the ball, like Ben Hogan's picture shows, like this. See how he's accelerating at this point. That's where you want on all your clubs. You want a little acceleration. You can go slow, but if that's it, if you can snap your hands into that ball, the, the amount of, if you want to say, kinetic energy going into the club head, you know, versus just seeing the body move. So the movement of the body supports what the hand does well, through the snap. But if you try not just the body itself, that has a whole different feeling. It's not, near, it's not as uh, effortless. The more you work the hands, you always remember, the hands move the arms, the feet move the legs involved. And that's the key element, how to get that softness and fluidity through by soft shoulders, down, brings where you can put more feeling into the hands, more dynamic force, more strength is what you want. Now, the exercise, I'm going to give you a, a, some exercises in a minute. So look for part three.